Good afternoon. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Dr. P. These are medical cases. I'm discussing my presentation today is uh, about lumps in the armpit. So most common individuals experience lump in the armpit. So this clinical presentation is very, very important for medical students who are preparing for their UCMLE exams, for nursing students. It's also important for those who are practicing, the healthcare providers who are practicing in the clinic, in the hospital. So today we're discussing about lumps in the armpit. So as we said, most cases, individuals experience lump in the armpit. They don't know what is the cause of this lump. They don't think about the size of the lump. They don't know if they require any treatment or not. So that's why it's very, very important for you to listen to this uh, lecture carefully. So armpit lumps are caused by swollen lip nodes. They are caused by swollen lip glands. Uh, most of them are harmless, while some of them are very, very harmful and they require treatment. Then what are the causes of this lump in the armpit? The causes of this lump, it could be due to fibroadenomas, which are caused by, they are not cancerous, they are cancers of the fibrous tissue growth. It could be due to inflammations of the hair follicles. When you shave your hair in the armpit, so you notice some inflammation causing the lump, that's caused, that's adenitis operative. It could also be caused by allergic reactions, it could be caused by viral infections, it could be caused by bacterial infections, it could be caused by lipoma, which is the growth of fatty tissues. Uh, it could be caused by adverse reactions to vaccinations or fungal infections or autoimmune disease such as a systemic uh, lupus. It could be also be caused by breast cancer. It could be caused by cancers of the lymphatic system, which we call lymphoma. It can also be caused by cancers of the white blood cells, which we call, which we call uh, leukemia. So as we said, it can be caused by irritations of the air follicles, which I already mentioned before. It could also be caused by the deodorant you are using, by the shaving cream, or by the spray you are using, any chemical. So that's why it's very, very important for you to, to, to be careful when you notice a lump in your armpit. So then the next stage, we have to do a physical examination because both men and women, they experience lump in their armpit. And it's very, very important for you to take it seriously. So what are the symptoms? You watch for the size, the consistency, the texture, and the pain of the lumps. Because some lump could be painful, some lump could be not painful. As said, the size of the lump, some of these lump, they vary in size. It could be a very tiny size to a very large size. A lump due to cyst or fungal infections or due to fatty growth. They are, when you touch those lumps, they'll be soft. Feet on, 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 on touching this, you feel very, very soft. But a lump due to fibroadenoma, they are very hard, but they are not cancerous. But cancerous tumor, they are hard. They are immobile. Just know that they don't move. You touch it, it's not movable. And it's very, very hard. So you have to, that's a sign. You need to see your medical provider. Also, painful lumps are due to bacterial infections, allergic reactions. They are not, they are not harmful. But not painful lumps are lumps that, are very, that should be taken very, very seriously. We said lumps that grow gradually in size, they continue to enlarge, and they don't go away. That's a sign. It could be caused by breast cancer. It could be caused by cancers of the lymphatic system, which is called lymphoma. You know your lymphatic system, they fight away of infections. It could also be caused by, as we said, leukemia. As I already mentioned before, I said it's called cancer of the white blood cell. It could be caused by leukemia cancers of the white blood cells. So it is very, very important for women to do a monthly breast self examination. So because 
serious lumps in the armpit they grow gradually in size you don't feel no pain and they don't go away so how do how do we diagnose it when you come to the clinic they're gonna do an allergic testing if it's due to allergic reactions they're gonna do your blood work such as cbc in these cases we are looking for number of red blood cells number of white blood cells then they're going to do a biopsy. A biopsy is whereby they have to remove a sample, tissue sample from the lung and take it to the lab for testing if it's uh, cancerous or not. Then you also have to do chest x-ray or to do breast x-ray, which we call a mammogram. So as I said, in, 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 you know, in, in other words, we can do a treatment for non-harmful lungs. For lungs that are not harmful, you have to monitor those lumps carefully. You have you observe them for any changes. So they use one compress, they use it pack, or you just give them a over the counter motrin, or they can also use the antibiotic cream. Lumps which is due to allergic reactions, they will go away when you when you stop just taking that stuff that causes an allergy. So lump due to bacteria infections will be taken care of by oral antibiotic. A lump which is, a, which is a cyst, you just have to drain them off. Those are not cancerous. So most of these lumps, they don't require treatment. Like lipoma, which is the growth of fatty tissues. Viral infections, fibroadenitis, which is uh, the growth of uh, fatty fibrous growth. Uh, like uh, it hydradenitis superative which is inflammation of the air follicles they don't require treatment but lumps that require treatment those are cancerous lumps those are they require surgery they require chemotherapy they require radiation so it's very very important for you to observe to to observe if you notice any lumps in your armpit thank you very much if you like this channel, don't forget to subscribe and give me a thumb up. This is Dr. P. See you next time.